Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Soul Land New World on PC using the LD Player emulator. Thanks to LD Player we will be able to easily download and install Soul Land New World and enjoy the game on our Windows PC with keyboard, mouse and big screen. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before anything else my friends, to get started we need to launch our main web browser. We open the one we use by default. Let's continue. Going to this URL that I have highlighted in green color. There you are seeing it on the PC screen. There is no need to type the URL, because I added a clickable link in the description of this video and as well in the first main comment. Once clicking on that link, we reach the site of LD Player. Which the Android emulator that we are going to use to get access to the game Soul Land New World on the PC. It is now obvious that we have several pros of running the emulator. Custom controls, multiple instances, instance synchronization, macros, scripts, high FPS, and so on. So we are ready to start downloading the Soul Land New World by simply clicking on the button Download Soul Land New World on PC that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on this button. Of course, the download step starts and ends immediately. Voila! Here is located the download. It's an executable file. The following step is to launch the executable file, so we click on this file. Windows 10 users will be asked for permission to allow changes to the laptop or device. We answered yes. I reduced the web browser to start to see the installer significantly better. The installation software is quite simple. It includes two choices, install and setup path. I am going to talk about what setup path truly does. We only click on it. And therefore we realize that we display here the path where in fact the emulator can be set up. If we prefer to vary this directory we are required to click on this, browse, option, and we opt for another directory and set up the emulator where we choose. To keep it simple, just keep it where it is. I simply click back, therefore I pick install. Fantastic! The install begins and it is going to continue in the download of those megabytes that happens to be visible on this screen. At the time you save it on your hard drive, it is likely to be more or less MB. The data transfer rate will go faster or at a lower speed, subject to your internet and according to the performance of the emulator hosting servers. Today they are going extremely fast. The download is has been successful, so right now it continues on with the installation step. The installation needs more or less time depending on the power of your laptop or computer. The more robust it actually is, the shorter the setup time and vice versa. If we join the download and software installation phase it might take a considerably long time, so show patience. It is already completely finished on my side. At this time, the emulator has actually been started instantly. As you can see now, at the bottom of the screen, we have a progress bar that will move forward to the right when it comes to the ending, the emulator will be started for the first time. Indeed, the emulator is already launched, here for the first time. Let me make the next phase, that is a requirement, and which is to visit the Google Play Store. To do this we will go there to, System Apps, we click on, and we are going to mouse click on Play Store. As you can view the Google Play is presented, at this point we need to log on. Presently the moment we are on this page, we have to execute the next phase that is compulsory. So we click on, Sign In. At present it announces, Checking Info. It might from time to time get blocked in, Checking Info, and so it does not proceed. In this case, you should try to connect to your account after a couple of hours it's going to probably be corrected. At present we can type in our email and password. The email address really needs to be a Gmail email as well as its matching password. For example you make use of the same email address you are using at the moment in your own YouTube account. So that I am going to provide my info and I will go back after I have accomplished it. That's all, information inserted. Below is Google welcoming us and supplying us the twos. We must approve them by clicking, I agree. Then, it allow us to back up to the Google Cloud. You could let it selected and it will generate a backup of your data on this device to Google Drive. I will not select it, you can make use of this option if you want. We click accept. By now Google Play is started by default and instantly. However, if the Google Play just isn't presented automatically and you don't know how to launch it by hand, I show you how to do it. The crucial element is to proceed to the emulator desktop by pressing this software icon marked in green. At this time we navigate to the system apps folder, and we select the Play Store icon. Well, we are right inside of Google Play. What we're going to do now is go here to, search for apps and games. And thus we are going to research Soul Land New World. Currently there we have got it, we must select the first result. At this point we come with the video game, 
How about we press here on the install choice that I am just highlighting now in green. This will launch the setup. Presently it would install the game. It typically takes a little while or it could be amazingly quickly. It all is determined on our own internet access. This has just completed installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by pressing the following option I'm showing in green, in order to run Soul Land New World for the first time. I am currently on the emulator desktop, and then we're going to simply click on this fresh Soul Land New World icon that has been created. Your Android game is launched for the first time. Now there we end up with it. I can mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. As well as to appreciate the experience to the greatest, we could switch on the large monitor, for which we have two alternatives. That is simply the first one, we just click on this particular software icon that I'm showing in green color. Then the display screen is maximized, offering one border on top, one at the right and the third one at the bottom. In case that we like to launch the video game using all the screen, we hit that icon. And we'd presently be experiencing and enjoying the video game in 100% screen setting. To stop the complete screen mode, just click the F11 key. And we'd now play in normal display screen setting. From now, I am on the way to clarify you the computer keyboard mapping that is really very cool. That strategy we will be able to operate the game a lot more effortlessly. The very first thing is to mouse click this app icon. It's now time to complete the required controls. I can leave the normal settings, though if you wish to change this, you can do so without any problem. I take on this occasion to say that once in a while, when launching the game app a black screen shows up. If that is so and you see the black screen and that emulator is unable to commence, I suggest a achievable answer. We can click here, to the cogwheel. Inside the emulator preferences, in the advanced selection we have got a large number of image resolutions. This is the resolution we've presently selected by default and so we must select any of these additional screen resolutions, for example this one down below. We go for it and then click on save. It will probably require us to restart this emulator and as soon as restarted, most probably the emulator will start and your black display will be completely removed. So now, you will find another point that we will need to take into consideration, and it's that we will receive an email reporting that a brand new device has been connected to our own Google account. It will check with us if we're the individuals who have associated with that electronic device. Indeed, we must not get worried, because the emulator is behaving like a Google Android device. And in order to determine which electronic device is currently being emulated, we return here, to the cogwheel and we mouse click on it. Let's browse here to the, model, selection. And now we learn that the emulator is acting as a Samsung mobile. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. This is it guys, so much for this video user demo. I anticipate you appreciated it, especially that everyone thought it was useful. If that's sir, uh, give it a superb like, subscribe, and any feedback, requests or ideas, leave them in the comment field down below. Check out any of these instructional videos that happens to be appearing on the screen and see you in the next videos. Bye.